Hello and welcome to another very special episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. This is all holiday movies, so get your pens and paper out so you can make a list of all the movies you need to watch before Christmas. Happy holidays! All right, hello everyone. It's Tony the Movie Guy and Miss Money in here. Wow, look at you! No, You're no. all hot shot with that now. <laughs> I've got it. And joining us tonight, our lovely uh, producer, who's usually behind the scenes, Danny. Hi. 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 Okay, good. This is a special holiday Christmas episode. Yay. Woo! We've got our uh, hot chocolate peppermint uh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our marshmallows. We've got our. Uh, Really dorky uh, Santa hat song. Which I made Tony wear. He loves it. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do like a deep dive on Christmas movies. Yay. Now, I mean, there are obvious, there aren't hundreds. No. Um, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot of crossovers, uh, but I think that will be a lot of fun. We've got Christmas coming up in like, what, three weeks? Do do. Woo, that's, that's exciting. It's so insane. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to record the episode tonight. Hopefully, we'll have it up by next Tuesday, so everyone will have a good, you know, two weeks at least, so you can catch up on all your Christmas movies, have a little movie nights with your family and your loved ones. So uh, yeah, we're going to go through the list of uh, Christmas movies. I'm sure some of the movies on this list are going to be controversial because I'm a guy, <laughs> so I'm going to have some manly movies, and then we'll have classics, of course. And um, I like the format we've been doing, where I do one, then you do one, I do one, and we kind of go back and forth and debate and discuss. So okay. that's that's the way I'm going to do it from now on, okay? Yep. Um, I guess we should just go right into it, huh? Are you going to start with my favorite, or shall I start? I'm going to start. I'm Tony the Movie Guy. I know, no, but you're, you know you're going to take my favorite movie. I just okay, know Okay, you know what? I won't. I'm British. I'm a gentleman. Chivalry is not dead, so yeah, I'm going to go first. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. Go ahead. What do you think I'm going to say? Christmas movies. Well, I'm going to let you say it. But yeah, yes, but what I, do you think I'm going to say? You're going to say Love Actually. Well, of course I'm going to say Love Actually. <laughs> now, is that a Christmas movie? Oh, are you, are you serious <laughs> no, no, right it now? Is, it is. I mean, look, Love Actually is really a rom-com. It is. It's a rom-com, but don't worry. It's 100% a Christmas 100% movie. 100% a okay, Christmas movie. So actually... Let's take that up because that's an interesting point. You'll see some of the films I have. I want to define something, Yenny, which I think is going to be important. What makes it a quote unquote, I'm doing the quotations with my hands, Christmas movie? What defines it as a Christmas movie? Well, you're going to laugh at me because I'm going to go so basic on that question, okay. which is that it is based around and at Christmas time. And okay. that's the simplicity to me. And that's all. That for me, because some of the ones on my list are not like centralized upon the subject of Christmas, but are at Christmas time and are a holiday movie. So that's for right, me well, what they are. Number one, we're way too serious, guys. <laughs> Let's cheer up. It's the holiday spirit. <laughs> yeah, we, we all look so intense. But number two, um, I agree with you, actually. Um, and I think that's where it will kind of stretch the list a little bit on some of the movies. Um, to me, I guess what might differ a little bit from where one, one movie is truly considered a Christmas movie and another one isn't is it's not just set to the backdrop of Christmas, mm -hmm. but it has Christmas themes throughout it, yes. which actually somehow are part of the actual plot or part of the story. And I think that's what kind of makes it even so much more a Christmas movie. Would you agree? I totally agree. Um, but anyway, that's the fun of the, uh, these uh, episodes as we yeah. get to argue about it and I'm always right. So no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, good. So well, let's talk about Love Actually. I mean, I, I love that movie. Um, just so you know, it's one of my favorite movies of all time as well. It's such a feel-good movie. But since it was your pick as your top Christmas movie, and yes, it, it is. is, just so you guys know, Yenny makes us all, well, she doesn't make us. I we do. actually enjoy it. But I totally make We them. watch Love Actually Every single year. Yeah. I, I, I watch that movie once or twice every single and just year. Just so everyone knows, Tony totally ditched this year. 
We did. It's yeah. true. It's been very, very busy. It's been a lot going on. So we actually did ditch the uh, the Christmas movie. But just so you know, that's because we've been watching one to two Christmas movies <laughs> every single day. Yeah. We've been trying to get through every Christmas movie on that's the list. Amazing. Um, but talk about Love Actually. Okay. So uh, I would say this time, which um, I watched on Saturday night with my friends. So it's fresh. <laughs> it's very fresh. And every single time I watch it, believe it or not, I notice something different or something new a new joke or a new uh, saying or a new little uh, Christmas quip or something. To me, that film, I mean, we discussed it on rom-coms, is is as a rom-com perfect. It has... It is. It's such a feel-good film. Yeah, it has an aspect of everything. But also just in terms of Christmas, um, it really culminates in what Christmas means to me, which is the love for your loved ones, your family, your friends... Uh, love at Christmas time. I'm going to sound right. really soppy here. But it's true. Uh, but but that's what that film communicates to me the most because you have all these, you know, five or six love stories culminating, most of them ending very well. Right. Um, And I just find it, excuse me, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I mean, there are so many characters, so many storylines, but it's all set around Christmas. The themes are all Christmas related. Um, And I think it culminates like on Christmas Day or something. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, you've seen Love Actually, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Do you like that movie? Yeah, I do. You look so serious. I'm just watching the sound of our recorder. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say before. Take your producer hat off, Danny, (laughs) and put your holiday hat on. Take the Grinch hat off. We need to get get the Santa hat on. Some eggnog, spiced eggnog going. She's not even wearing a hat. We are. (laughs) Do you like that movie? Yeah, I do. I really like it. I've seen it a couple times. Okay. Incidentally, all with Yenny. Anyway, (laughs) okay, good. Anyway, I agree with you. And it's so funny. It's so funny. It's very romantic. But yes, it's all it's all about Christmas and the spirit of um, you know I don't know like giving and you know being with family and friends so I think it very much is a Christmas movie I agree I made my just as a funny note you know how I always do usually a game during the watching of that movie this year because none of us were having anything alcoholic to drink we had to kiss our significant other every time they said the word Christmas oh my god so there was a lot of kissing going on (laughs) there you go did you even watch the movie (laughs) Yeah. Everyone just was just snog fest. snogging. <laughs> no, okay, it was good. Great. All right, my turn. Yes. So um, I'm going to pick, and this is actually my favorite Christmas movie, and it's not even an old movie. It's been out around for around a decade or so. We just saw it. Elf is my favorite Christmas movie. Okay. I actually think you, you're not a huge fan of Elf, are you? Uh, no, that, no, I love Elf. Oh, you do? Okay, that's Will Ferrell. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, number one, Elf is obviously 100% a Christmas movie. Oh, yes. So when you talk about the true definition, I mean, he's an elf. It's got Santa Claus in yeah. it. I mean, it's all about Christmas. That is the whole, you know, the spirit of Christmas, making people believe in Santa and Christmas. Yeah. and. Uh, but it's so funny. It's I, lo- I love that. It's got so many quotable lines. It's such a feel-good movie. You love that movie, babe. So mm-hmm. why don't you say something about Elf? I just like it. It's fun. It's entertaining. I like Will Ferrell a lot. That's what what it comes down to. What's he your is... favorite part of it? Um, I'm trying to get Danny involved here. <laughs> I'm, I'm just observing. Hold on, ready? Santa's coming. Santa's coming. I know him. I know him. <laughs> so good. <laughs> or I just rewatched it. Too. Or the uh, the world's best cup of coffee. Well done, guys. Oh, yeah. You did it. <laughs> you sit on a throne of lies. Uh, so no, go on. Amazing. No, I'll tell you. Just oh, the, that whole down. spaghetti scene. Oh my the, god. Where he puts like what is it like M and M's? I literally feel nauseous when I watch that scene because he's just putting like cookies and sweets yeah. and smarties on spaghetti and maple syrup and and he drinks the entire liter of coke and one go anyway <laughs> Elf a is, great one. yeah it's a great comedy it's a great feel-good movie and of course it's, and a great one for kids yeah, too it's like it's a all, all age mm-hmm. that's right that's a great family film yeah. because you've got to mention love actually is actually an r-rated movie yeah <laughs> you know it's got nudity swearing mm-hmm. even though it's such a feel-good film um, it's not no, necessarily it for every, you know, for a whole family. It has to the two people who are on set <laughs> yeah. naked. And, oh, on yeah. the porn That's set. Martin Freeman. <laughs> yeah. Bilbo the Baggins. Hobbit, yeah. In Hobbit like... naked. <laughs> I know, it's kind of weird. All right, good. Your turn. So the next one I have, which you guys both recently watched too, my second favorite is The Holiday. Okay, oh, I, I love, love I love The Holiday. I just watched it two nights ago. Yeah, so again. we rewatched that recently and I forgot 
just how charming and lovely that movie is. I love that. So film. good. This is another one you think about it. So the holiday is essentially a romantic comedy as it well. Is. You know, um, the reason why that film also holds a dear place in my heart is when I went to England. Uh, the, the year it came out, my whole family went out on Christmas. Mm-hmm. I think it was Boxing Day, and we went out and we saw the holiday. You know, in the snow in England. Totally. So I always remember that. And that's uh, Jack Black in a very unusual role for him. Totally, as, as like, like a the hero. Love, a love interest and charming yeah. guy and Kate Winslet, who I love, and then Cameron Diaz and Jude Law. I, I'm sorry. He's... I'm a heterosexual male, but he is so damn oh sexy in that movie. There's something about the way they film his eyes in that film oh. because they pop more blue than I've I, I've ever seen. He's drop-dead gorgeous in that film. I'm just going to say it. But um, and, and essentially the story is, yeah, these two women have like nasty breakups or Pretty problems much. with their relations and they swap. She lives, Cameron Diaz lives in Los Angeles and she goes to England yeah. and it's like perfect quaint little cottage. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kate Winslet goes to Los Angeles in, in her like her lovely like suite, and um, and then obviously they find romance and love, and it's got other other themes. Yeah, but again, it's all set to the backdrop of Christmas, yeah. and it culminates on Christmas, and I think New Year's actually is Correct. when it kind of culminates. Well, that's when it ends. Yeah, right. But the beautiful I think it culminates movie. more like Christmas Eve or something. It starts at a holiday Christmas party, yeah. it ends kind of on Christmas Eve, and there's like a footnote. On New Year's, New Year's Eve is the last scene. Yeah, and I'm surprised you didn't give me a hard time about that movie because one of the plot lines is that Cameron Diaz can't cry. Correct. And Danny always <laughs> gives me a hard time about I how did I give you a hard time. I didn't even cry at the, our wedding. You know? Did you? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. And she finally cries at the end of the movie. And yeah, oh, that's right. You looked at me with evil eyes. Well, it holds, Damn you, Tony. <laughs> the film holds this place in my heart. And, and I think for you as well, because you and I um, are both, you know, we grew up in England. Right. And we found love here in Los Angeles, oh, in essence. I so mean, mushy. <laughs> but that's, it's the it's funny true. thing. That's it why I true. love the film. It's like, it's got, it's got my home and my home. And yeah. it's got Beth, you know, it really portrays both it's a nicely really wrapped well. present. Yeah, yeah I love I it. mean, The Holiday is a lovely movie. And, you know, it wasn't even a huge success, but I think it's really grown in popularity because everyone I know who knows it absolutely loves it. Oh, yeah. So it's a great pick for sure. Great one. All right, good. It's my turn. Yes. All right. So I'm kind of doing an old school classic that has been made several times, which is A Christmas Carol. Okay. Um, I actually really like the uh, animated, like, stop motion that was made with uh, Jim Carrey. I really like that one. I think it's uh, uh, Robert Zemeckis directed it. Uh, you know, again, it just tells the uh, the classics, you know, tale of Scrooge. Um, but it, it's a lovely film. I love Jim Carrey. I think he does a great voice act. And I guess they did like motion capture with him. Mm-hmm. Um, have you seen I that? I actually have not. I've, I started it once and I didn't finish it. Yeah. So, I mean, again, it just retells the, A Christmas Carol, which is a classic. There's several versions of A Christmas Carol. Yeah. Um, but I, I love that one. It came out, I think, about a decade ago. I actually really enjoy it. So. And he mm-hmm. plays all the parts. It's all CGI, right? And That's he plays right. all three ghosts oh, cool. and Scrooge. That's yeah, Jim cool. Carrey plays them all, and Jim Carrey is fantastic. Yeah, I should so. see it. Yeah. Okay, good. You. And that's one good for kids, too. Obviously. Absolutely. Family friendly. Um, my uh, One of my favorite classics, Home Alone. Oh, yeah. We just saw that yeah, again. Just <laughs> so I have so that good. recorded on my DVR as next. Um, I, I've done Elf, The Holiday, Love Actually, and several others, and Home Alone's next. So here's what's funny. When I saw Home Alone when it first came out, I absolutely loved it. Obviously, Macaulay Culkin, it was yeah. such a huge so hit, in the theater film. like three times. Yes, yeah, John Hughes film yeah. uh, with Joe Pesci. It was a fantastic film. But um, over the years, it kind of lost its magic for me. Oh, and I, I remember a year or so ago, we tried to rewatch it and I kind of didn't even get through it. We just rewatched it. And I guess I, I just had to be in the right moment. I loved it again. Oh, good. I loved it. It was fantastic. <laughs> I love it Apart every from, time. I forgot how brutal it is with uh, just how he tortures <laughs> Joe wonderful. Pesci and the other burglar character. Yeah. Anyway, go on. I'll let, it's your pick. I'll let you talk well, about it. <laughs> I actually, as my pick, I went double with one and two because I love them both. Really? Yeah. Yes. She watched the second one. I love one. the New York one. Isn't Trump in that? Briefly. <laughs> <laughs> he is for like a second. <sighs> but... And I say why, because it shows that, you know, it shows all the famous Christmassy places of New York. And I really like that, too. One is definitely my favorite. But um, the whole concept of, you know, a kid being left at home and, take you know, all the the mischievous things he comes up with. I love that whole story. But also then it goes really 
really sweet and how he misses his family and you know he treated them badly and feels bad about it and wants to make good and that i, I love the whole thing and again it's interesting the storyline the plot of home alone doesn't really have anything to do with christmas no it's true but it's all geared around christmas there's yeah. so you it's know, all decorated and things it's like all that. decorated the burglars are rubbing you know people who are away for christmas and you know and, and i guess it does kind of culminate in that christmas kind of he seasons. saves Christmas. Yeah, kind of thing. But it's just interesting. But yeah. I, I mean, it's considered a classic film for sure. I will say his parents and his extended family are dicks. Mm. I mean, those are the worst parents totally. ever. I mean, oh of course. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my like, God. It's not like him being a bad kid. Like his family <laughs> suck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, totally. Macaulay and Culkin was uh, just adorable. So yeah, I lo- but I love that as a Christmas movie. Yeah, it, it is. Okay, I have a classic. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah, Chevy Chase. I absolutely love that so film. So funny. Uh, it's, you know, what are they, the... The Griswolds? Griswolds. The Griswolds. Yeah. I've seen all the, uh, you know, the vacation films. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite ones. And yeah. European vacation. I mean, that's through and through a Christmas movie. Oh, totally. Randy Quaid's great in that as well. I mean, I know he's gone completely batshit crazy these days in real life, but he's really good. Juliet I think he's, Lewis is in that Yeah, film. young Juliet yeah. Lewis. Um, that's a great feel-good movie with a great Christmas message. And I, I mean, that's... Through and through a Christmas movie. Totally. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> <laughs> they get the, t- the Christmas tree at the beginning. Oh, out God. in the field. It's like so huge. In the- oh, my God. Well, I just remember the lights. The whole thing yeah. with the lights. Uh, and it's then, brilliant. Yeah. And then I, I can't remember the... the- the model, but there was a super famous model in the 90s who, remember the girl he fantasizes about, oh, Chevy yeah. Chase does. Yeah. So as a young, growing boy, I always remember that. All right, moving on. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Um, my next one is The Grinch with Jim Carrey. So how The Thank Grinch you. stole Christmas? Correct. Yeah, I just call it The Grinch, but All right, you're right. So let me tell you. I, you number, hate that film? I love Jim Carrey. Okay. I cannot get through that movie. I've attempted to watch it several times. Um, I drove Danny crazy in the last week. Um, we put it on probably 10 times and I kept turning it off and she kept uh, turning it back on. I think you finally finished it, I didn't you? I finally finished it. Because I just, I don't know. I, I found it too zany, too wacky. Yeah. I just couldn't get invested. My husband it. doesn't like it either. Well, it was also just the costumes and the way they looked and stuff and the it's makeup. Dr. It, Seuss. Yeah, it it's drove totally me Dr. Seuss. nuts. I, I, well, I'm just surprised because I love Jim Carrey, but of course it should be on this list because yeah. I know it's a classic. It's not my favorite, just so you know, but okay. I put it on because it is very much a Christmas movie. You liked it though, right, babe? Oh, I love that movie. Oh, anything you want to say about it to contribute? No, just Jim Carrey as the Grinch is amazing. <laughs> See, and There's he so should many be. Quotable and he makes lines. friends with a little girl. Like what? Any good lines from that film? I don't know any. I don't have a good memory. Don't ask me. Oh God! All right, moving on. <laughs> but when when I'm watching it, like you, the first time we tried, when we watched the first twenty minutes of it or so before you turned it off. I was like all his parts alone with the dog. They're all just quotable lines. They're oh, amazing. But you can't quote one of them. Not correctly. Okay. I don't want to stumble over my you words. You can quote them incorrectly, but it's okay. I don't want to spend too much time on The Grinch. No. Um, but yeah, it's considered a classic. And a good kids movie too. Okay, good. Yeah. So um, I have Scrooged next yeah. on my list, which is a Bill that. Murray movie. Again, it's another kind of comical retelling of of basically a Christmas Carol. Um, I love that film I'm though. I'm not a fan. You don't like Scrooge? No, well, when's the last time you saw it? can't get through it. Re- when did you try watching it? I attempted it? last year. So did I. Really? Yeah. Were we, did we do it together? Maybe. Oh. oh, well, you have one, I have one. Well, that film came out in the 90s. I think I saw it when it came out. I, I loved it. I love Bill Murray. He's mm. fantastic. And um, I just thought it was a really charming, feel-good movie. So, And it is, you know, a Christmas classic movie. Oh, it is, movie, for so. sure. Okay, moving on. Um, I have Four Christmases. I love that film. I don't know what that is. You don't know Four Christmases? No. Are you kidding? What is it? It's the one with um, Reese Witherspoon oh. and um, mm-hmm. what's his name? Uh, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. They, you've never, okay, no. Danny, Remember handle we this. Remember we were like looking for Christmas movie to watch and you're like, those are very good. I'm like, no, it's really good. It's a really funny movie. It's they so are, cute. They, they are, are like both of number one. To... I'm getting ganged up on here. Number two, it, it this must be a bit of a deep cut though. Like it's not considered. Oh no, like it's a... completely a Christmas movie, Tony. Oh, okay. But what I look mean at is, the cover was of it the very movie. popular? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, I've never heard of it. Okay, they the 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 quick um, synopsis. brief synopsis is they are a couple. They're not married, and they have four family members to go to because the parents are both divorced, both their parents, 
and all kind of crazy shit happens at each each household and it's all about christmas and having four different christmases with four families that are completely nuts well maybe we'll try it because yeah i think it's on netflix it's really funny and i was like i like it i've never yeah. heard of it and it's got two big actors in it. Yeah, I you'd thought, enjoy it. Oh, it it can't be very good all right i believe you all right so this is way too low on my list but my next one is die hard Absolutely. So it's good. So list. you do consider that a Christmas 100%. movie? One hundred percent. Okay, because that's one of the films that is really debated. Like, is that a Christmas movie? Um, it's an action Christmas movie. It is, but also, I mean, he's like, now I have a machine gun, ho ho ho, and it's all set around <laughs> Christmas, and he's going to visit his family, um, you know, for Christmas, yeah. and he just happens to John McClane, and it's played a Christmas by party. Willis. Yeah, goes to a Christmas party, and he's just, you know, it gets hijacked by these, you know, terrorist uh, burglars, movie. and he ends up saving the day. But uh, it's all geared around Christmas. So yeah. it's 100% Christmas. Okay, not good. A, um, not a kiddie Christmas movie. <laughs> no, obviously not. It's an R-rated hardcore action movie. Although I saw that film when I was like 11. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, it's just brutal at times. Like maybe for a three-year-old girl, it's a bit too yeah, much. Yeah, of course. You know? um, wow, I'm really happy. I'm getting no uh, I love Die Hard. attack on this one. No. Okay, good. Yeah, so it, it's 100% a Christmas movie. Die Hard is awesome. Check it out. All right, carry on. <laughs> My next one is The Santa Claus. Oh God, okay. Yes. Yes, yes, Okay, yes, you yes, didn't yes. see how much my wife, Danny, lit up. So I had no, never... She, she, her smile is like all the way up her yeah, face. It's scary. It was like the it's Cheshire Cat. I had never even heard of these films with Tim Allen. Really? And there's like, also there's like three of them or something. There are three of them. There so, is? Yeah, so yeah. when I went the to Santa her... Claus, the Santa Claus, Miss, uh, the Mrs. Claus, I think. But like Claus spelled it like a legal term. And then, what's the third one? The, the third one with one? Martin Short, where oh, he's right. Jack yeah, he's Frost Jack or something. Frost. Anyway, when I went cool. to her family's um, home for Christmas many years ago when we were first together, mm -hmm. that's when she first introduced me to the film. And I've watched the first one now with her. Um, I've been forced to watch it like five or ten times. Not even. The first like one is times. actually quite cute. I yeah, can't stand the other two. I mean, that's the, the, the Christmas, Christmas one. It's, I mean, that one. He is Santa Claus. Yeah, I mean, it's 100% a Christmas movie. Okay. And it's kind of a unique story. He's like this normal yeah. guy and he acts at, what That's quite and macabre. And he doesn't believe in Christmas. But it's quite macabre if you think about it. He accidentally kills Santa, right? He <laughs> spooks him and Santa falls off the roof. And then that's he true. like... Kind of disappears and his suit remains. And then yeah. he has to now turn into Santa. Yeah. yeah, there's a card that says, like, put on the suit. Or I think he just puts it on and then he, he finds the card. The card yeah. And it, the card is actually, um, like, a legal contract. Saying, yeah. like, if you put on the suit that you are now Santa and then he slowly yeah. transforms into Santa. he gains weight and he gets the beard and he tries to shave it off. See, the first one I remember and the first one is yeah. quite charming. It's really cute. It is. It's a good kids movie. Anyway, Danny loves that movie. So, so. <laughs> next, and all three of them are on Netflix, which unfortunately <laughs> I showed yet. her you the other day. You said they were coming on, but I haven't seen them. Oh, they're coming. All right, go ahead. That was mine. Oh, that was yours. You. All right, my turn. All right. So this one's controversial because it's not on the lists of quote unquote Christmas movies. But why is Bridget Jones's Diary not considered a Christmas movie? Oh my god, movie? I can't believe I missed that. Well, here's the thing: it's oh, not on course. most lists. We just rewatched it. Tony, it's great set catch. around Christmas, and um, you know he's got the ugly the Christmas sweaters, sweater. Yeah. And right at the end, the, the film's grand finale is her running in her knickers down this you know quaint English street in snow while it's yeah. snowing with Christmas knickers decorations. Are underwear, by the way, yeah, with Christmas decorations everywhere. So it's not consider the christmas movie and i don't know why i mean most of the story is obviously just about bridget jones and her diary and her you know turmoil with relationships and hugh grant and the is subject so good isn't in it. really christmas but it's in that whole setting yeah, but it's yeah. not all set place during christmas it goes like it's it only two scenes christmas, neither is die then... hard die hard is all action and killing people no, but, but, that's it's, all, but it's all at christmas the time, time is christmas because well, that's why i was gonna ask christmas. you is that why we you would consider it's not a christmas movie because it starts with that ugly sweater party and it ends literally with running through the snow i'm gonna oh. give it to you i'm, I'm, I'm gonna well, give you it you have to, to you, give though. it to me because i'm not even a huge advocate of bridget jones's diary i know oh, you I love, love that yeah. movie we just happened to just watch it and since i knew we were doing this episode i was like that's interesting and then i even googled it which i don't usually do and it's not considered a quote-unquote christmas movie Danny, but i think I it should consider be it a christmas you wouldn't movie. Okay. No. isn't that interesting there's mm -hmm. a garden parties and things like that in the middle of it like it's She's in the middle of summertime so holiday has scenes like that as well but it's all, anyway, all that's okay. in LA. 
Okay, fine. Good. So you don't consider it a Christmas movie. That's okay. Case closed. I'm totally 50-50 on it. <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> okay, my next one is A Christmas Story. The one oh, you have not I haven't seen. seen it. Yeah. So that's an, A, that's an American film. I have a question, Yenny, since you yeah. and I are British. Did you see that film in England before no. you came to America? Okay. I saw it here. That's what I thought, because that film is so renowned and so beloved in America. Yes, not um, in England at all. I've never heard of it. No, I hadn't either. It was actually one Sarah Beth loves it and yeah. she was like oh you have never seen a christmas story she made me watch it three four years ago so i watched it with sarah and julie some years ago and i was totally detached and disinterested oh, and i didn't really sad. pay attention i love it i guess i need to watch it again properly tell it's me a little bit about cute. it i mean it's it's a classic obviously it's black and white it's absolutely no, it's not it's not black and white no came out in like the 80s or the 90s no. a christmas story no a christmas story it did not come out in yeah, the 90s yeah the kid Tony. with the glasses it did and not the, come out in the 90s in the 80s then it's it's definitely not I think black you guys and white. are talking about two different movies yeah. you're talking about it's a wonderful life no no i'm talking about a christmas story a christmas story no. with the leg the yeah. leg lamp yeah, and the kid and the glasses. It's about the gun and, and the, his and tongue get, gets stuck. Yeah, Tony, that gets, is not from the 90s. It's or the 80s. It's very old movie. Well, someone check it. It's I from can't. The, it's from My the 80s. Off. <laughs> I'll look at it. Yeah, see, that's why we Keep shouldn't going. be in airplane mode. I'm telling you, that film is not that old. It's like the 80s, no, you're 90s. You're wrong. You're completely wrong. You know what's weird? I haven't even seen this film, and I know I'm so cocky. 1983. Yes, yeah, I knew I was okay. right. I Early knew it was like 80s, 80s, not 90s. I said it's 80s like 10 or years later. 80s or 90s. But isn't that? <laughs> that's it's when I was born. But it's definitely not black and white. Then. It's no, yeah. but it's but it's got that that. Let's keep film, the Christmas spirit going here. <laughs> that filmmaking. Um, I don't know. I thought of it as. Black and white. Like a somehow. classic. You yeah, thought of it very classical. Yeah. But it's just so cute. Mm. Um, the whole story is about this kid who desperately wants this Christmas present, which I really relate to because it was this doll that I really wanted for Christmas. And when I got it, it was amazing. But he just wants this gun so badly. See, again, that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of heavy. <laughs> he wants a gun? It's a BB gun. Oh, like a rifle. It's like, a little okay. BB gun. And, um, you know... They're listening to the radio and it's, t you know, the time of radio shows and it's just so cute. I, I loved it. And it's okay. got the little friendship with the little boys, his friends and the him overcoming the bullies and... Look, I should watch that movie because, uh, uh, yeah, it's like a beloved American Christmas yeah, classic. Adorable. Have you seen it, babe? No. <laughs> well, that doesn't really stand the point very well then. I'm in my 20s. I'm not defending that movie at all. Okay. All right. Fine. But Way older it. than I am. You should definitely try, like, be in the mood and, you know. No, no, no give problem. Give it a go. Okay, so the next one on my list is The Nightmare Before Christmas, mm -hmm. which, okay, I've never really liked this movie. I've heard about it. It's, uh, you know, Tim Burton, who apparently didn't even direct it. He, he was the big name behind it, but he just produced the film. Yeah, he didn't direct it. It's mm -hmm. what, Claymation or what, what do you mm -hmm. call it? Yeah. Yeah. My wife loves this movie. And it's a movie. Halloween and Christmas movie. Well, mm -hmm. we just saw it. And again, I don't know what it was. This time I really enjoyed it. I, I liked it. I, it was, I like it was it cool. Too. I loved Jack and Sally and the, the, the storyline. It was very quaint. And again, it was quite spooky. But uh, I actually really enjoyed it this time. It's a good movie. Um, I've tried to watch it two or three times. It's the first time I actually got through it. Do you want to say anything about it, babe? No, that's something I just grew up with. Because I grew up going to Disneyland all the time. So it's like... What's that got to do with Disneyland? They put they it turn in the, the ride. Haunted, the Haunted year. Mansion turns into the Nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Oh, okay. Which so I, I just went I on twice. Seen that. It's oh, really? amazing. <laughs> it's oh, so cool. cool. It's really fun to go on. Okay, yeah. good. So the Nightmare Before Christmas, that's like a Definitely. Halloween and Christmas movie. 100%. Yes. All right, cool. Continue. All right. <laughs> My next one is uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Classic. So the classic classic or the remake? Funny thing. Both. I love both. I've never seen the original because the, the original is a black and white, yeah. super old one. I saw the one in, again, in the 80s or 90s. I think it was in the 90s with like Dermot Mulroney or something. And it was yep. quite charming. I actually. really like that one. Um, and it's with the girl that was in Matilda. I forget the little girl's name. Oh. She's really adorable. So what's Miracle on 34th Street about? It's about Santa Claus uh, from the parade. The, the the Santa Claus who's like in the Macy's and he goes in the Christmas parade and he truly believes he's Santa. Hmm. And oh. uh, the little girl, and there's a whole family thing, you know, parents are divorced, she's trying to get them back together or something, something along that line. And, and he um, goes to court, He goes right? to court because he, but they're trying to make him be, like say he's insane. 
And it's actually quite sad at points because he's just this lovely, lovely man. And he's just like, yeah, I am Santa Claus. And I actually don't remember how exactly it ends, but obviously it ends happy. I, anyway, I really like I, yeah, I, I saw the one from the 90s. I remember thinking it was quite charming and better than I would have expected. Yeah. But it's been a long time. But um, of course, it's on most classic Christmas list for sure. All right, good. I have one really near and dear to my heart. Mm. It might be a bit of a cheat because it's a short film. Okay. Um, it's like, it's The, the Snowman. Oh, no, um, I have it on my list. I have air. it on my list. I'm walking through the midnight sun. Danny's looking at me like, you are nuts. Yeah. Anyway, this young kid. I love kid, hearing Tony in that high octave. <laughs> okay, so it's like an animated um, short film. It came out in the 80s. I remember it when it came out. David Bowie, in the original version, introduced it as a oh, classic wow. TV movie. And again, it's 20, 30 minutes long. And it's about this little kid and his snowman that comes to life and takes him on adventures to the North Pole to meet Santa Claus. And it's really, again, a lot of these, you look at dark. the theme... <laughs> They're quite sad. Yeah. He wakes up the next morning and, <laughs> really and the snowman is melted and it's dead, yeah. basically. It's always touched me, though. I, you know, I, I try and watch it every year. No one seems to care. <laughs> I've tried to get Danny <laughs> into it. When I live with Julie and Sarah Beth, I try to make them watch it. They're like, all right, whatever. <laughs> you know, you know. I don't know. I find it really charming. And yeah, it's got that like that song really high octave, which yeah. this like choir boy sang in Correct. the 80s. It was a huge hit in England. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. It's got a near and dear place in my heart. Totally. The Snowman. You guys Wasn't should check it out. Too? Mm -hmm. I think it, it went from the film into a book. I remember Something the like book that. when I was a kid. I have I, the book too. But I didn't... Yeah. Um... Yeah, and, uh, it's yeah. beautiful. It's, it's just really a beautiful cute. little like animated. Might kind of thing. upset your kids though. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I saw it when I was like seven. But anyway, the snowman. You could I just recommend see some it. little girl like, oh how, oh god. Well, oh, look, god. a lot of these are quite. It'd sad. be like killing off Olaf at the end of Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> see, no one oh, considers god. Frozen a Christmas movie, but yeah. I guess it's not. All right, no, go ahead, Jenny. <laughs> okay, so this one is a similar situation to Bridget Jones's Diary because it's not. I found it on actually a couple of lists, but I thought of it because it's one of my favorite rom-coms that is set at Christmas, which is While You Were Sleeping. Is that a Christmas movie? Well, That's Sandra Bullock. Rewatch it and tell me and because... Bill Pul Pullman. Yeah, it's, it's, it all happens at Christmas. She's like, the first scene is she's like setting up her Christmas tree with her cat. So I guess it is. And the whole thing happens over Christmas time. Um... And when she visits him in the hospital, and I really like that film. So I actually love While You Were Sleeping. That was one of Sandra Bullock's mm -hmm. big hit films before she, like, right before Speed, yep. when she became yep. a huge star. Correct. And she works in a train station, mm -hmm. and this guy that she has a crush on falls into a coma. Yeah. And she basically falsely impersonates herself as his fiance, fiance or yeah. girlfriend. By while, mistake, she doesn't mean to. But she still goes with it. And then she goes and then with it. <laughs> Bill Pullman plays the brother yeah. of the guy who's in the coma that she has a crush on. And then as the movie progresses, she falls yeah. in love with him. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a really a, cute It's a film. charming film. I didn't even think of it as a Christmas movie, but maybe yeah. it is. I, I mean, I, I would rewatch it because it's definitely one of those that's very much themed around Christmas. Okay, well, I have another one like that, but it's 100% a Christmas movie, which is Gremlins. Okay. So, yes, I mean, definitely. Gremlins, the reason it is, is number one, the whole reason Gizmo is brought to, you know, the, the town is because the father, Gizmo. I've never seen it. Gizmo's I've the cute little Mogwai. You've never seen Gremlins? I know Gremlins? all about it and I've it's never seen classic. it. It's a classic. I tried at the beginning and it just looked so cheesy. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, the first That's one's so quite good. scary. Um, okay, so the the uh, the story is really simple. This um, The father is like an inventor and he buys his son a Christmas present, which is a little mogwai called Gizmo, which okay. is this cute little like Yeah, I've seen the monster. pictures. It looks so cute. But there are certain rules. You can't feed him after midnight. You can't get him wet. You can't put light on him. Um, so obviously the son accidentally breaks all those rules and then... He mutates into these gremlins and Gizmo's still good, but then they turn into these the bad ones, right? Nasty. Who they literally straight up go around murdering and terrorizing the entire village. Oh, but it's all through Christmas. You know, uh, Phobe Cates is in it and she tells this haunting story about how her dad, I don't remember the whole monologue in that film, but it. I remember it as a kid, it scarred me. She tells this story about how her dad dressed up as Santa Claus to surprise them and put um, presents 
in the, uh, on the tree. Yeah. But he got stuck in the chimney. Oh, God. And he died. And they found him there days no. later. And that's why what she hates story. Christmas. I oh, know. Oh, my God. Anyway, awful. I forgot about the, that. The first Gremlins movie is actually quite spooky. Uh, and, yeah. you know, there's murder and mayhem. And it's got elements of comedy in it. A really young Corey Feldman's in it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's straight up a, a holiday Christmas movie. It's set yep. all around that. It's so, on the um, list, too. You, you need, to, list. You need to rewatch that. You I should will. come over and watch it with us. Gremlins, is, it's it's very 80s, but it is great. Cool. I okay, forgot Phoebe Cates was in that. So yeah, I don't she's know the main you, girl. <laughs> I don't know if you ever ended up seeing this film, Krampus. Oh, no, I never saw it. Oh, it was brilliant. So, I loved it. Okay, good. So tell me why that's a Christmas movie. Oh, it's completely I don't know. a Christmas film. Sorry, I don't know the story. So the funny thing is, this is the one I've... I, there are not many movies, I mean, other than maybe Gremlins, where horror and Christmas meet. Okay. And this is completely on lists for horror movies and Christmas movies because so it's... What's it about? A family comes to this, like, house... Um, it's actually very hard to explain. I saw it about a year and a half ago. A family comes to this house in the middle of nowhere and they basically get pretty much snowed in. And Krampus, it's a it's an old German um, folks tale about there's Santa Claus and then there's this kind of a demon. He's like half demon with goat horns, half Correct. man. Have you seen it, babe? No, but I know that you know the I know the tale. I know who Krampus is. Like yeah. instead of getting coal in your stocking, Krampus and why he and, like, terrorizes tortures. the family. Yeah, he or? terrorizes the family, and then like some of them go outside and end up like you know all kinds of shit so breaks it's a, loose. It's a Christmas horror film. It is, but it's fascinating. Wow, okay. we really it was funny. Me, Sarah Beth, and David sat down to watch that, and we actually liked it a lot more than you we enjoyed thought. it. Yeah, I remember it came out. It Not kind for of, kids. <laughs> yeah, it kind of got forgotten. Yeah, but it got pretty decent reviews. Yeah, so I probably will check it you out. You should. You should watch it just because it's unique. You know how like um, Cabin in the Woods unique. Right. Like it's different. Okay, good. All right, well, my next one is definitely not family-friendly, definitely not for kids, but it's an amazing movie, Bad, Bad Santa. Santa. I knew you were going to say Billy that. Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Number so one, funny. I think that's one of his favorite films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's got that horrific line in it um, when he's shagging the girl, and he's like, you're not going to shit straight for a week. <laughs> Do oh you remember God, that? Oh, my God, that's right. It is the yeah. most crude, so lewd, crude. rude awful film he makes he plays this character who you know dresses up as a you know Santa he's like Claus, a drunk but he, well, he's a drunk he's and like he's, a mall and santa, he's, a, and he's he? a yeah mall santa but he's also he's a burglar um that's right with the little um the little what's his yeah, name the little, guy little person the small yeah person. who plays like the elf um and but they basically they rob like um malls and stuff like that but what's so great about that movie is as crude as it is, isn't it really, I really mean, it crude. takes it to levels. Yeah. It has such a beautiful heart. It does. Because of that relationship yeah. he forms with the chubby little kid. Yeah. You really do care it's about it. Um, You know, and at the end, I mean, he doesn't he get like shot by the cops and stuff? And then, yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. And he doesn't even really redeem himself. But he shows that he has a heart beneath all that blackness. Um, I don't know. It's such a pitch black comedy and it's 100% Christmas. So it's a great holiday Christmas movie for adults only. Bad Santa. (laughs) Did you see the second one? It was fucking terrible oh i, I didn't watch it it was so bad really and it made me it made me sad actually uh-huh. I, I got through maybe 20 30 minutes now i mean kathy bates plays his mother i thought oh uh-huh. that could be you know a formula for like excellence but it was so lame you know and i think it's the same kid the chubby kid mm-hmm. grown up and i'm sorry it doesn't work very well because he's not a great actor and anyway no I, worries look the bad center i think is a classic it's an entertaining Christmas one movie. for it's an adult night, the first yeah. one only all right, let's move on. Okay, you had Bad Santa. My next one is, oh, this is one of my all-time favorites, All I Want for Christmas. Never heard of it. Tell me about it. It's with a young Ethan Embry. It's a I've wonderful book. Never heard okay, of so it. Okay, so Thora Birch. He's from uh, Can't Hardly Wait. Can't which Hardly is one Wait of your and films. quite a few other 90s films. Um, oh, and Empire Records. Empire Records. Ethan and Embry. It's, but it's him really young. Like, he's like 15. Okay. And, um,. Uh, Thora Birch plays his little sister. You remember Thora Birch? I do, yeah. Okay. From Ghost World. Yeah. And uh, uh, American now and, Beauty, now and then American Beauty, yeah. Um, so the story is, it's a simple like family story. So it's uh, him, his little sister, and the parents are divorced. And it's basically the, the little girl goes to Santa and she says all she really wants is uh, her parents to get back together. And the dad owns a diner 
and the mom is a really wealthy New York like attorney or something like that. And the whole story is really more about the kids and a little adventure they have on Christmas and how they want to get the parents back together. And it's it's all all based around the the whole one night of Christmas Eve. Hmm. It's it's but you love it. It adorable. kind of holds a dear place in your yeah, heart. Yeah, really I've never does. heard of it. I had such a crush on Ethan Ethan Embry <laughs> when I was like twelve. All right, no problem. All right, well, I have um, another one, which again, this is kind of just funny to me, which is a, a very Harold and Maud Christmas. Um, oh. Do you know what that is? Is it the Harold and Kumar? Yeah, why does it say Harold and Ku- uh, Maud? It's, I don't know. Yeah, it's a very Harold and Kumar yeah, Christmas. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe because yes. there's a movie called Harold and Maud. Maybe. Yeah, there sorry. Is a movie That's Harold a typo. Okay, good. A very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Yeah, I haven't seen it. So Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, mm-hmm. and then they did the other one, Escape, Escape from, from Guantanamo. Guantanamo Bay. I saw one of those. I, I love those movies. They're, her- they're, they're actually just stoner comedies. Yeah. But I think the, the two leads... Um, actually make it. It's Cal Penn and John Cho. Um, they actually make the film very entertaining. They actually I'll have watch that. heart. Um, that Christmas movie came out maybe uh, eight years ago in 3D. Oh, wow. It's surprisingly a really good 3D movie. Like, I'm not. Did a you fa- see it in the theater? Yeah. Oh, my I, God. oh, I've seen it like five or six times. I okay, love I it. See that. It's got Danny Trejo in it as like the, the father of, uh, well, he's like this gruff, like Mexican mm. guy. He always plays like bad guys, but he's a lovely guy in real life, apparently. Um, but anyway, it's about um, John Tro trying to impress uh, his wife or fiance's family and he plays her father and he has to go out and get the perfect christmas tree and it's all centered around christmas and obviously it's got you know all the crude jokes and stuff like that um but what i remember was watching it in 3d i don't like 3d usually i find 3d films are like lame and don't Mm. really add to it this really added really? to the movie and, uh, and it's got neil patrick harris he's oh, in cool. all of them he's in this as well there's a great cameo i just remember being you know i think i was doing a show i was kind of on my own and i was off somewhere during the christmas season and i watched it in the theater and i really like loved it and i've seen it maybe five or six times oh, it's cool. uh, I, that's yeah, great because i'd love to see that harold and kumar christmas <laughs> <laughs> <Harold and Ward. laughs> all right that's all right so on. this <laughs> is an interesting one um I've seen this movie many times. Have you ever seen Trading Places with Evie oh, Murphy? Yeah. Good. So I'm glad you put that's on my list. Oh, cool. And that's one that is considered. It is and it isn't. So here's the thing. Oh, it totally is. Well, the storyline has absolutely nothing to do with Christmas. But it's all at it's Christmas Eddie time. Eddie Murphy, Dan, well, Dan Aykroyd's a drunk Santa, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and you're right. It's all based around Christmas. Yeah. It, the whole backdrop is just Christmas time. But the film is actually about... Eddie Murphy, who's like a homeless guy, mm-hmm. and Dan Aykroyd, who's like this rich millionaire. And he's kind of an ass. Yeah, and these two like old billionaires make a deal for like one dollar that they can swap them and yeah. basically ruin Dan Aykroyd and make him homeless yeah. and turn Eddie Murphy into like a millionaire. Um, but when they find out about it, they basically become friends and turn the tables on them. And but it's it quite also a does feel good uh, movie actually. Yeah, and but not just they become friends, they them being put in those p- opposite positions make them better people. That's right. They become yeah. better people and they find love. Yeah. Like Jamie Lee Curtis is in well, that Well, I'm film. sorry. I mean, this isn't a sound crude, but the, the reason I remember Trading Her Places boobs. the most was I just remember Jamie <laughs> Lee Curtis's jugs. I mean, Because she got... has that, um that she goes as, a, it's like a Halloween train or no, yeah. they're all in costume and she has like a, what do you call it? Um, um, oh, What do you call it? She's like an Austrian... Be a girl oh. and her, her, her whole costume. Well, she had, well, no, she's, she goes fully nude. She does. And yeah, and I just, I mean, I was very, <laughs> Danny's looking at me like. <laughs> I've never anyway, seen this movie. So I was oh, like, it's really funny. I was like six when I saw that movie. And I just remember like, boobs. <laughs> and so many men, I, I yeah. talk about trading places. It's they true. go, Jamie Lee Curtis's boobs are amazing. It's in funny, that Danny. You'd actually enjoy it. It's a good um, movie. It's, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a, I just started it once and I was like. It's an 80s oh, like film. It. It's a little outdated. It's still, yeah. um, it's still quite funny. And I actually agree with you. I put it on my list. because The whole backdrop is Christmas. It is. Okay, good. So what do I have next? Um, okay, I have another one that's not so well known, mm. but I love which is Fred Claus. I made mm-hmm. you watch it with I Vince Vaughn. I love Fred Vaughan. Claus. I Paul, like that yeah, one. Paul Giamatti plays Santa Claus and Vince Vaughn plays his brother, Fred Claus. That film, to me, it. surprisingly had a lot of heart. It does. It's very like, charming. It's quite, yeah, it's a very charming film. And, you know, how 
the the relationship with the brother and yeah. how you know Fred Claus really kind of turns around. Um, and Doesn't of course, uh, become Santa for a while or something. Well, for I a forget. bit, yeah, because he kind of ruins his brother, but then yeah. in the end, he kind of helps him and saves the day. And um, and of course, then Santa Claus just gets his job back. But um, yeah, it, it's like a family friendly holiday movie nice. that kind of just came and went i've seen it like four or five times i think i had everyone yeah. over here and we did it as oh, a christmas fun. movie night mm -hmm. it's a great charming little film yeah yeah agreed okay, continue all right <laughs> so i'm obviously going to bring up a new i've never seen this film it's a wonderful life okay i knew you were going to bring it up and i put it on my list because it's considered it's famous, like the yeah. ultimate christmas movie it's not that i haven't seen it it's in the same bracket of uh, a, christmas a christmas story, story. you couldn't I get into it i watched it but i it didn't hold my attention. Huh. And I know how famous it is, but neither of those films, I, I think, are as dear in England. I might be wrong about no, this you are right. as they are you in are America. Right. They're American Christmas films. I hadn't really heard of them yeah. at all until I came here. But tell me a bit about, I actually didn't even remember what it's about, an angel or something? Mm, it's about a man who, yeah, he uh, about this, I forget the character's name, but um, basically something happens in his life where suddenly he's in the situation where the angel um changes his whole life okay and everything goes south basically like there's some big business deal and this and that and then um things go actually pretty bad and it, it most gets of these movies really get sad. really dark at times <laughs> it ends extremely well right. in the end but most it kind of, of shows him how how badly things would have gone if he made this particular decision. So it's almost like Scrooge or Something like the like that. story of a Christmas Carol, yeah, but exactly. its own kind of spin on it. Have you seen it, Danny, or no. not? Oh, no. you haven't seen it. Uh, I mean, this film is like what sixty, seventy oh, yeah. years old. Black it's and one white. of the oldest, which is probably why it's considered the. It, to me, it's not the ultimate Christmas film at all. Right. But Nearly everyone, especially in the Americans, yeah. considers it like the. Christmas not movie. Not to me at all, but it is definitely a, a great film. I should try and watch it again. Yeah. That and A Christmas Story, just because of all of the hoopla, I want to try and watch again for sure. I will. Yeah. All right, let's see what else I got. Um, okay, I got a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, yay. Because I love shorts. I love so peanuts. Cute. And it's yeah. so adorable. And to me, that is quite classic. I haven't seen it in years. Yeah. And it's funny. A Peanuts is something, you know, Charlie Brown, that is, I think, equally as big in America as it is in England, mm -hmm. probably around the world. It has kind of universal appeal. Yeah. Anyway. All right. What else do you got? Um, so I'm getting down to the bottom of my list here. Now, I put one on here that um, I don't think is actually very good. That's okay. What is it? <laughs> Arthur Christmas. Oh, I didn't see it. That came out recently. Did it? Because yeah. I, I feel like I saw it, but I couldn't have been very memorable. It's an animated movie. I don't oh, Why do you have it on your list? Because I saw it. <laughs> I saw it like somebody was talking about it on Facebook or something. And I was like, oh, yeah, that should go on my Christmas list. Why? Because it's all about Christmas. But do you remember it? No. <laughs> I don't You're at such all. A dork. I know. Okay, it came out just But it's a, for kids. It came out just a few years ago. It was like an animated movie. Yeah. It came and went. Um oh, I've it's never about the little seen kid it. that helps Santa. Yeah, I do remember it. Okay, yeah. so do you want to make a defense There's for it? There's a little or not? kid that helps Santa. And is it good? <laughs> I think so. Oh god. All right. If anyone wants to check out Arthur Christmas. We're not we're not betting on it here because Yenny doesn't remember. No idea what it is. Um <laughs> I've heard of it and it, it's quite recent. Okay, I have, um, I had to mention this. This film's kind of weird, but it is quite beautiful to look I know at, which is The Polar Express. Oh, no. I haven't seen Tom it Hanks. still. You've never seen that? Okay, I've tried four times. So it's Robert Zemeckis, Tom Hanks. He plays all the characters. Isn't it Claymation 2 or something? No, it's um, not. It, but it, it's at, The animation is beautiful. It's mm -hmm. quite, real, it's a bit too realistic. I remember oh. that's what kind of spooked a lot of people out. And Tom Hanks plays like all the roles. Here's what I remember. I don't recall the story much, and I don't know that that mattered, but visually, it was quite beautiful. Okay. Have you seen I The really Polar Express? I really need to try to get through that. I think I tried. Maybe. I remember the beginning scene at the train <laughs> station, station all the way. and that's okay. it. All right, good. So it doesn't sound, and this is probably why these are at the bottom of our list, <laughs> but, um, you know, I just remember People was, love that film. Well, some do. Some I, I know two people that do. Vi <laughs> you know two. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, visually, I remember it being quite stunning. Anyway, continue. Oh, um, so this one I'm surprised you didn't bring up yet. It's probably at the bottom of your list, but you mentioned it the other day, The Family Stone. Yeah, it is. It's oh. actually the next one on oh, there my we list. Go. Yeah, that is, it's a, a dysfunctional family a uh, time. set all around Christmas time with a great cast. It's actually quite a quirky film. It's good. It's, it's fun. Sarah Jessica Parker. I remember Claire Danes. I think she's lovely in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke Wilson. 
Um, and Diane Keating is mm-hmm. great in it. Um, it is a great little film. It's a fun I, comedy for Christmas. I like that movie. All right, I have another one. Um, and again, what's strange is everyone considers Die Hard a Christmas movie, but most people don't consider this a Christmas movie, which is Lethal Weapon. It's set. The first one? Yeah, it's set all around Christmas. It is. The whole backdrop of that film is Christmas. Is that the one with the drug dealers? Well, I mean, the drug dealers. It, I'm it's, just trying to remember I mean, which it's one. Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. It's Riggs and Myrtle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't even remember the, the storyline because um, it doesn't matter so much. It's a wham But it's all around Christmas. Action okay. film. It's set all around Christmas. It's a Christmas mm-hmm. movie, just as much as Die Hard. Die Hard is the superior movie, but it's a great... If you want to watch an excuse for, like, an action movie during Christmas, Lethal Weapon okay. is another great option. All right, right, and then you got? <laughs> you're going to laugh at this one. Jingle all the way, Arnie. Okay, I've never seen it. I put it on last week and it was so terrible. It's awful, but it's so funny. You like it? Like, I don't know why. It's one of those Arnie movies that, okay, it's bad, but it's so bad that it's funny. But it's an to Arnie me. movie where, and I love Arnie, he's trying to act. I know it's He's bad. Like, it's really bad. Son, come over here. Don't come <laughs> come with me if you want to leave. <laughs> I will buy you your toy for Christmas. Anyway, Danny, stop looking what at you. What accent Judging is that? Judging me quietly. <laughs> That's not German. Whatever. He's Austrian, but um. Either one. It's neither of those. Anyway, I got through twenty minutes of it. It was god awful. It is. It is very bad acting. But I actually, I don't know. That's why well, it's we, at the bottom of my list. We have quite some filler think, on our list. Here. I think. Have you seen that, it? No, you turned it off. Yeah, it was terrible. Christmas movies are like the one genre of movies that can be horrible. I agree and with I will still watch that. every Not like single Elf one of them. Or Love Actually or The Holiday. Those They're are wonderful. legitimately I didn't say wonderful they have films. To be horrible. I'm just saying they can be horrible and I will watch every single one of them. Lifetime, Hallmark, ABC Family, all of those movies are Okay, so I will admit in my head over a Christmas. movie just dropped on Netflix, so I'll give it it's a nice so free plug. Cute. And it was quite charming. It's a straight uh, oh, original Netflix adorable. film called The Christmas Charm. Prince. Um, oh. It's like a straight to Netflix Hallmark movie. It's no, I'm all right, watch it. tell them about it. It yeah, was actually quite charming. We watched it the other day, and at first I was cringing, but it was actually quite cute. Well, it's like an undercover reporter uh, goes to like some made up country, just like Princess Diaries, like mm-hmm. you know, I forget what the name of it was though. Some made up country about like there's some scandal, like a Prince Harry type bad boy prince or whatever who like runs off on vacations with women and things like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, his dad is dead now. It's like it's his turn to take over the throne or not. So, but it's all set around Christmas, like the coronation's supposed to be on Christmas, and it's all Christmas. And she's, not, watch. she's an undercover reporter, and of course, they fall in love. And she gets and, into the palace, yeah. and like the little sister helps her Are out. Are they like nobody actors? And Yeah, all- the yeah. girl was uh, the sister in The Lovely Bones, the which is sister. a Peter Jackson movie. Uh, but I yeah, I mean, the, the acting was cheesy. It was pretty bad. It was um, amazing. But it was a cute movie, and Danny <laughs> absolutely loved it. Oh, so <laughs> cute. All right. I, uh, do you have any others? I what, I think I had I one th- at the bottom of my list that I my don't turn even. It's or? your it's your turn. Okay. Um. I, I I'm almost done. Um. I have the Muppets Christmas Carol. Um. Which again is. I was going to put it on, but it's another Scrooge. You know, Christmas Carol. But it's Michael Caine as Scrooge, which is amazing, and I love the Muppets. You've got to represent the Muppets. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much my list too. What else did you have? Um. Just um. The actual movie. You had the Snowman, but there's Jack Frost, which is Michael uh, Keaton. The Michael Keaton movie. I remember that. Is it film. terrible? Scott, you can't put movies on the list that you haven't seen. Oh, you've <laughs> so done that yourself. With what? Absolutely, in so many episodes. I've. I put films on that I, I, I want to talk about because I've seen them. I've totally seen it, but I don't remember it very well. I remember it kind of scarring me, like being a bit weird and disturbed. Michael Keaton. He turns Again, into a snowman, yeah, he but the dies. snowman is really creepy. Right. Michael Keaton dies. He turns into a uh, snowman. Yeah. And that's right. It's really legitimately spooky. The snowman's just And creepy. doesn't the snowman try to have sex with the mum or something? Are you like, serious? I can't remember, but it was just <laughs> twisted. See? I can't remember either, We're but it's on there. keeping this light. This is supposed to be like, wee it's holiday season. It's been a season. while since I've seen it, but I do really like that movie. All right, well, I guess that's pretty much the list. So I, I think you bring up a good point is uh, a, a lot of Christmas movies are pretty bad and lame. Yeah. Uh, but they're kind of fun <laughs> and entertaining. I think there are some very good ones. Oh, yeah. It, it is an interesting genre. 
You totally. can't really, I mean, you can't really talk about a lot of them because there aren't hundreds of them. No. Well, the funny thing is, is I bet you oh, there probably, are. Right, there probably are that we haven't even mentioned. Oh my God, if we like, took everything on like the Hallmark Channel and all of those would oh, be here for days. Right, so there was another one on Netflix we, we watched. The called, 12 Days of Christmas. Yeah, the 12 Dates of Christmas. Oh, oh the Dates. You know, and like um, it has a girl in it. Well, the blonde actress is Amy Smart, who I really like. Mm. She's from like Crank and um, a Road what? Trip and other movies like oh, that. I made her popular. Wasn't she in like, I think some quintessential road, road 90s trip, movie? Okay. Um, Crank with Jason Statham. But road anyway, trip. it was so lame. Like <laughs> A Christmas Prince was better than that one. <laughs> anyway, babe, uh, since that we have a little bit, fine. well, since we have a little bit of time here, why don't you talk about your love of lifetime cheesy holiday movies for christmas no i just make it to fence i don't i mean i don't like have cable so i don't watch lifetime and even when i did <laughs> if I didn't. we did you would <laughs> no i just like on netflix i'll search christmas movies and all these like movies that you've never heard of with actors you've yeah. never heard of like, straight to like i will video. watch them yeah. yeah like i mean I, I don't know like 12 dates of christmas tony turned it off i turned it back so on lame. when he was gone you fell asleep actually they're, pro- they're promoting it was this so cute there's one on cable they keep promoting on like free form or something they have like this 24 days of christmas and it's called like the um it's with um i forget his name he's the main character in american pie um jason biggs it's jason biggs and a girl who who dies and becomes like a christmas angel it looks so cheesy and actually you know the next you know the next live musical they're doing on tv you know they've been doing like grease and uh the sound of music they're doing a christmas story oh cool um, with uh, maya rudolph from snl uh, oh, as really? the mother and uh, another comedian guy. Um, anyway, well, look, this has been interesting. Um, here's the thing. I mean, watch feel-good movies during Christmas. Totally. You know, I mean, look, most of us are very thankful and lucky. We've got friends and family, uh, you know, to celebrate. And But, you know, if you're not so fortunate, if you're away or you're alone, you know, I think it, it's good to, like you know, kind of be able to connect to like a feel good holiday movie. Totally. So some of these are probably terrible choices, but like <laughs> Our first you know, ones were great. Elf, Love Actually, The Holiday. I mean, those films are infinitely uh, rewatchable. Absolutely. You know, if you're feeling crude and dirty, watch Bad Santa. It, it's a great <laughs> blast. Um, or just go to Netflix, type in Christmas movies, <laughs> watch everything they have there. If you can bear the cheesy acting. If, if you want lame, cheesy movies, <laughs> go ahead, no, defend they're it. perfect. They're okay. perfect in well, every she, way. Just, they always okay. have a happy ending. Someone always falls in love, usually. Exactly. And they're like legit. It's not like a separate This is something I, I don't know. Christmas. I can't control it. My wife loves like ABC Family, it's not Lifetime, ABC Family Hallmark it's Channel Freeform. films. Anyway, that's like... Her favorite thing ever. But you know what? It puts a, a smile on her face. And if it will put a smile on your face, do so too. Yeah, um, totally. Anyway, look, we, we'll get this episode up in the next week. So you'll have a good week or so before Christmas. But from all of us at Tony the Movie Guy, we wish everyone a really happy holiday season, right? Happy, happy holiday. Christmas. Happy holidays and happy Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Good night. <laughs> you laughing at me or did, was that good? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I just got burned. All right. In true holiday spirit. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. I'm going to do good night. Danny, ho, ho. No. All right. Good night, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. This is just going to keep going on. <laughs>Thanks so much for listening to another very special episode of Tony the Movie Guide, the podcast. Remember, you can always follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Tony the Movie Guy. And also, you can email us at any time at Tony the Movie Guy podcast at gmail.com. Also, if you haven't already, please do leave a review and rating in the iTunes store. It's really helpful for us and we'd really appreciate it. And lastly, I would like to wish you a very, very happy Christmas and happy, safe holiday season. From all of us here at Tony the Movie Guy, Merry Christmas.